Welcome to this video session. Today, in this video, we will learn about pure and impure substance. Do you go to the market for shopping? If you look closely at the cartons of milk, ghee, juice, etc. that are being sold in the market today, you will find 100% pure or pure written on all the boxes. Can you tell us what is the meaning of pure? For ordinary people like you and me, if there is no adulteration in anything, then according to us, that thing is pure. But does the same thing mean pure things in the scientific definition? No. When a scientist says that something is pure, it means that all the constituent particles of that substance are the same in their chemical nature. A pure substance consists of single type of particles. So now you must be thinking, what are impure substances? The substances that are formed by mixing two or more pure ingredients are called impure substances. They are also called mixture. Let us now learn more about pure and impure substances by some examples. Let us take an example of salt. Is salt a pure substance? For this, we will first check whether salt is made up of the same type of particles. Here, you can see the particles of sodium chloride present in the salt. Are these particles identical? Yes, the composition of salt is composed of molecules similar to sodium chloride. Therefore, we can say that salt is a pure substance. Friends, we know that salt is made up of sodium chloride molecules. Can we separate salt into elements of sodium and chlorine by some physical process? No. Therefore, we can say that we cannot separate pure substances into other types of elements by any physical process. Can you think of examples of more pure substances? Yes, sugar, water, gold, diamond are examples of some more pure substances. Are the characteristics of 1 kilogram of sugar and 10 kilogram of sugar the same? Yes. From this, we can conclude that the characteristic properties of pure substances remain the same. Let us now look at the sugar and water solution. Is it a pure substance? Let us find the answer to this question by an activity. In a beaker, take this sugar and water solution and then heat it with the help of a burner. What do you see? Alright! Sugar that was dissolved in water is separated from water due to evaporation. But can we separate sugars or water into their components by some physical process? No. From this activity, we can conclude that the solution of sugar and water is an impure substance or mixture which consists of two pure substances, sugar and water. Can you think of more examples of impure substances? Potassium permanganate and water solution, tea, soil. These are some other examples of impure substances which are made up of two or more pure ingredients. Friends, hope you have got a good understanding of pure and impure substances. In the next video, we will learn about the mixture and types of mixture. 